guys. So today I have a special treat for you. We're going to do a uh, makeup for moms kind of thing. I'm going to do my mom's makeup. Yep, this is my mom. She is a YouTube channel. You should definitely go subscribe to her. She does like food and business videos. They're really cool. I'm featured in a few of them. Anyway, so I'm going to do her makeup today and she's just running out to the store, but this is good for daily. It's it's pretty much good for any time. And I'm just going to do hers a nice Nice, easy, pretty neutral eye, and um, some, I guess, kind of dark lips, sort of, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> so let's just get started. Start with her foundation, and this is the Avon Ideal Flawless Foundation, and this is her color, medium beige. So let's see if we can get it to come out of the pump. If it won't, then I'll just, don't need too much. Hey, there we go. You're welcome. Do you see how good I am with this? So I'm just going to dot it on her face. And then I'm going to blend it in. And you can use a brush or a beauty blender or a sponge or anything for this, but I don't really have any of those. Just using my hands, but again, you can use whatever you have. You want to make sure to get it on the neck because you don't want a foundation line. I've seen a few of those and they aren't always pretty. <laughs> so, just blending it in all the way. You can go darker in spots that you have or that your mom has blemishes or anything like that, you can go darker in those areas. Or if you want, you can just use concealer there. And I'm going to quickly pull her hair back. Get it back there. And blend it in as much as possible because we want it to look pretty natural. And if you have oily skin, uh, try to use like a matte foundation or something that gives off a matte finish because that just helps control the oils on your face a little better. So I'm just using whatever I used in my hand, and now I'm going to take a little bit down her neck so that's blended in. Wow, that was really weird. It's like a line. Alright, there we go, and she can blend whatever she needs to. I don't think I did the neck very well, but oh well. I'm never very good at doing the neck. Like, I can do it on myself, but I'm not very good at doing it on other people. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to put a little bit of highlighting concealer. Yeah. So you can just put that under the eyes and anywhere you want highlighting. So I'm going to do it right there on the cupid's bow. Cupid's bow area anyway. I'm going to take your ring finger and just pat it. Can you look up? Thank you. And if you're doing this on somebody else, make sure that they're looking up because that's how you get like the most under eye area to use and blend better. Okay. So we're just finishing blending that in. And then I'm going to take a setting powder, and this is the uh, matching setting powder to the foundation we used. This is the Avon Ideal Flawless Loose Powder in color S102 Neutral, which I have the same color. It's a little dark for me because my mom has a bit of a darker skin tone, but that's all right. We're putting it on her, not me. So we are going to open it up, and it does come with a powder puff, so if you would prefer to use that, you can. I am, however, going to use an Avon brush, and she's opening it for me, because I'm a weakling. So we're just going to get a little bit of that on the brush, not too much. Dab it off the side, then you can even dab it off on this thing over the container. That way it's not too much, and then just set the foundation and concealer that you just did. And this powder does actually give a good amount of coverage, so if the foundation and the concealer didn't cover a lot, then this does have some good coverage to it, depending on how much you use. Down the neck, since we put a little bit down there too. And there you go. So we're done setting her foundation and stuff. And I have powder and foundation on the back of my hand, but we'll live. Now, and I didn't put the powder puff in. Oh my goodness, aren't I smart? So, now we are going to move into the eyes. And most, I know my mom doesn't normally wear eyeshadow, but she's letting me do it for the thing, for this video. She has me do it sometimes. She's going out somewhere. But if you, or your mom, does normally wear eyeshadow, then... I suggest starting with a primer, and this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion I got it from Sephora. So just dab a little bit of primer 
onto their eyes or your eyes and then just rub that in and that will help the eyeshadows stay longer and prevent creasing. So we're just rubbing it in. Okay, now that we're done with the primer, we're going to move in to a base. And this is the Mary Kay eyeshadow base, cream eyeshadow base in metallic coat. We're just going to put a little bit of this on there just to add a little bit of color and again help with the creasing. So I'm not going to put too much on there. Now that I'm finished that, because my mom doesn't wear too much eyeshadow, I'm going to stick with keeping it pretty natural today other than a little bit of like brown eyeshadow as an eyeliner. But other than that, we're keeping it pretty natural, pretty simple. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, which looks like that. And I'm going to take the middle shade, Walk of Shame, which is right, sorry, it's hard to get the directions right, right here. Oh, I'm laughing about the name. Walk of Shame, yeah. Yeah. It's a sick name. But it's a funny name, too. So if you have too much on there, just, you can just dab it off in the back of your hand and then just apply that all over the lid. Now, to lighten up the outer half a little bit, I'm going to take Foxy, which is like this yellow tone shade right there. I like that name much better than Walk of Shame. Yeah, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. However, I like Walk of Shame the color better. But oh. So we're just putting that on the outer half of the eye. Just kind of lighten up that area a little bit. Some people go darker around that area. I kind of like going lighter there with this with this look. Okay, now we're going to take Naked 2, this one right here, and we're going to put that in the crease. And this is just a really light, natural brown. So again, we're just, we're just going to take that into the crease. Now we're going to take Venus at the end here, which this is an all matte palette except for this color. This color has a satin finish to it. We're just going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to put it under the brow bone for a highlight. And what this does is it kind of gives the look of like raised eyebrows a little bit. Gives them a natural lift. Hello. Hello. There we go. Okay. <coughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to take... A lip brush like this one and we're gonna take faint which is this dark brown right here right there we're gonna take that on the end of a lip brush and we're gonna put that as eyeliner other one closer yeah yeah top eyeliner sorry all right and the reason I'm using a lip brush is because I find that gets a more precise line you can use an angled eyeliner brush but I feel it doesn't work as well. I mean, it works, but if you want a thinner line, I suggest going with a lip brush. All right, so we're done with that. And if you have any fallout, you can just take like eye makeup remover, or if it's really like really loose and it's powdery right into the eye, you can take a fan brush and just wipe it off. But if you're not so lucky, just take some eye makeup remover on like a Q-tip or something and just dab it where there's eye makeup. So now we're going to move into actual eyeliner. So I'm taking the Avon Glimmer Stick Eyeliner in color G40 Cosmic Brown. And this one is a twist up, so you twist it up like that. And we're just going to put this on the lower lash line. I'm not going to put too much. As well as on the other eye. If you tight line or water line, you can obviously you would have done that beforehand. I'm not done yet. Just kind of just looking and just showing. This is what we look like so far. And this eyeliner just broke ah! on the back of my hand. <laughs> That's all right. So now we're just gonna take the big fluffy eyeshadow brush again, and we're just gonna smoke it out and kind of blend it in a little more, so it's not as harsh. All right. Now, if you curl your eyelashes, obviously you can go ahead and do that. My mom doesn't like that, so we're just going to move straight into mascara. This is the Avon Super Extend Extreme Mascara. It comes in a big yellow bottle. 
So we're just going to open that up and apply mascara. 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 Whatever. So I'm just going to get the upper lashes. I don't typically do the lower lashes because I feel like it makes them too long. So we're just doing the upper ones today. <laughs> I'm just going to take a lip balm, and this is the Avon Flavor Savers Strawberry Lip Balm. Fres, French, yeah. Can you tell Avon is a recurring trend in this house? So we're just going to put that on her lips just to moisturize them before we put any other lip products on. And you can use a tinted lip balm too if you kind of like that, but I'm pretty sure this one's just clear. And then lastly, I'm just going to put on a lip gloss. And this is the Avon Glaze Wear Shine Lip Gloss in Mauve. Mauve Movement. Mauve Movement. So it looks like that. I'll swatch it so you can see it. The pink one down there. And we're just going to put that on her lips. There we go. So that's the finished look. Pretty natural. Sorry about the weird lighting there. But it's pretty natural. Now I can natural. show my face in public. Yeah. No. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope this was helpful to you. If, if your mom ever asked you to do your makeup, now you have something to do. I, this is how I do my mom's makeup when she asked me to. So, yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed again, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, yeah. everyone.